Ola Cancer Sun Libra Moons, this is your 2018 reading. When you view this is when you were meant to see it. It could be a blip of time. It could be a longer period in 2018. Please have patience regarding these readings. I'm doing 144 in totality in the most order of most requested in the comments. Please check my playlist prior to to make sure that it hasn't already been done. That would be really helpful. Now, this is how this works. The first portion of this video in YouTube will be a textbook definition of your sun and moon sign. Then I will lay out the main cards in their position stating what the signs are. I, I may or may not just kind of give a general uh, little overview on, on what I see. And then at which time the video will end, you have the option to click on the link below under no obligation. It is optional for those that want something extra extra to purchase the second portion of the video in Vimeo, which includes my interpretation of the cards in addition to clarifiers, it ends up being a 15 minute to 20 minute plus video, okay? If you do not care to do so, you're more than welcome to research the definitions of the cards based on what I laid out and to come about your own conclusions. Or if you're a novice to row reader, here's a good time to practice in regards to that. Other things to mention. If you like my style of reading, if it resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates and info are below in addition to my email. Just shoot me an email. Um, rates and info? Yeah. <laughs> Just shoot me an email and we can go ahead and get that set up. Also, keep in mind, I'm on Instant Go, so if you need a quick answer to a quick question, text me. I am not doing a phone or live phone or video chat at this time. Text only, okay? So, people with Sun and Cancer, Moon and Libra, you often follow the road that your peers, parents, or authority figures have gone down, and a lot of your disarray comes from doing what you feel. You can easily give in to self-consciousness, shyness, excessive self-examination, and maybe even closing yourself off when you desire to defend yourself or shield your feelings takes priority. Learn to control your surroundings because your environment can often dictate to you. This is particularly true when you choose friends and associates. When combined with the moon in Libra, the emotional anxieties and the shyness of cancer are magnified. Your quest for eternal peace and quiet is held back by your emotional vulnerability and high degree of sensitivity. How you perceive yourself often takes a back seat to how others see you. You sometimes lose your way in the attitudes and roles of those around you. This is because you're so busy watching what others are saying and doing. Somehow you believe you will find yourself there. A positive and supportive situation will result if you do. Your opinions are just as good as others, and you should learn to speak up more and be confident. Perils and occasionally daring are sometimes necessary to take advantage of opportunities. You are very romantic and long to be needed. The sexual aspect is not as important as the romantic and sentimental side of romance for you. You often completely ignore the bad traits in your partner and build up the good ones to almost unreachable heights. You need emotional support and encouragement at every turn, and you will practically worship a person who gives it to you. Your endowments are inside of you, and you need to search for various ways to express them. You can rid yourself of fears and meet larger challenges after you've acquired more self-confidence. You're extremely creative because of your powerful imagination. A Cancer Libra has numerous artistic opportunities if they have gained enough confidence. You have a knack for singling out the sources of stress and conflict, and this would make you an excellent diplomat and natural cons conciliator. You can apply your social skills in wide-ranging areas like psychology, so sociology, law, or public relations once you achieve emotional balance and harmony. Okay? So, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please provide your truth, your clarity, your wisdom, and your insight for Cancer, Sun, Libra, Moons for 2018? Can you show us what surrounds them at this present time? What they left in 2017? What's coming? What's something they can expect in 2018? Where should they focus their energies in 2018? And what is their general outcome for 2018? Please grant me the objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend them to be said for Cancer Sun Libra Moons for 2018. So Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me what surrounds Cancer Sun Libra Moons presently. What surrounds them presently? What surrounds you presently is the King of Swords and the Upright. Can you show us what Cancer Sun Libra Moons left in 2018? I mean 17, you left the Ace of Cups. Can you please show us... Okay, you got two cards. Bonus. Or something to expect in 2018. We have the uh, 
Three of Pentacles along with the Seven of Cups in the upright. That was weird. They flipped that one. Okay. Energies to focus on. The Five of Pentacles in the upright. And then finally, general outcome. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So it looks like maybe for some of you, you left a new emotional beginning in the past, but requiring some kind of clarity. You can expect in 2018, um, perhaps working on something, but um, not really not really being very grounded in regards to it. And then uh, finally, for your general outcome, you want to move on from something, but you're having a hard time doing so, okay? So if you're interested in uh, a more detailed reading in regards to that, please click on the Vimeo link below. It will take you right to the second portion of this video, and we will go into this in depth. Otherwise, keep in mind I'm on Instant Go. Um, text me there for a quick answer to a quick question. If, this, if the reading resonates, hit me up for a private reading um, and just shoot me an email. And I will see you guys in mid-February.